Hi folks, HR Funk here with a brand new midweek update. And in this midweek update, I want to address a safety concern that I've received from a couple of viewers. Now, a couple of months ago, I produced a video where I talked about the idea of using black powder cap and ball revolvers for defensive applications, even in modern times. And when I recorded that video, I went out to the range and I did some shooting with this very revolver. And when I did that shooting, I had the revolver loaded with all six chambers fully charged. And I got a couple of responses from viewers asking if it was safe to carry a black powder cap and ball revolver with all six chambers charged because of the concern of potentially dropping the revolver and having the hammer strike a hard object, or maybe some other way the hammer would receive a blow and cause the cap that was on the nipple underneath the hammer to discharge, or to detonate rather, and discharge the revolver and present a safety hazard. And when I saw those comments, it made me realize that there may be some folks out there that don't realize there is a safety feature built into this particular style of revolver. And this is a copy of a Remington New Model Army black powder cap and ball revolver. And as I understand it, there's a similar feature on the Colt revolvers too. Now, I'm not saying every single type of black powder revolver is going to have these safety features or every manufacturer that manufactures a reproduction of a black powder revolver is going to have these safety features, but mine do have this. And specifically what it is, and I will disassemble the revolver here, specifically there are these notches that you can see between the nipples. You see the notch right there, there's a nipple, there's a nipple, and there's a notch. And there's one of those notches between each chamber of the cylinder. And those notches are for the hammer nose to rest in. So when I load the revolver, and it'll take a second here for me to put it back together. Okay. When I load the revolver, once I have all the chambers charged, I simply position the hammer nose in one of those notches between the cylinder chambers. That way, if the hammer receives a blow or if I drop the revolver or something like that, there's no way I can see that that hammer could possibly cause one of the chambers to discharge. Now, that doesn't mean that there's absolutely no possibility of some freak accident where the revolver falls. And what I would expect is probably on this side of the revolver where there's a little bit more room between the nipple and the rear of the frame that potentially if that hits something just right it could cause that chamber to discharge. It would be an extremely rare occurrence but I could foresee where that would happen but that doesn't have anything to do with loading all six chambers of the revolver. In fact that would be the one if, if the chamber under the hammer was not charged this would be one of the ones to the side that always was charged. So if that happened, obviously I wouldn't want to be anywhere in front of this chamber when it discharged. But again, that would be such a freak accident and I can't imagine what the odds would be of that actually happening. And again, loading it with five shots or six shots really isn't going to change that if you're planning on keeping the chamber underneath the hammer unloaded. I suppose if you wanted to keep this one, if you always wanted to line it up so this one was unloaded also, or this was the only one that was unloaded and the one under the hammer, or not actually under the hammer, but the one closest to being under the hammer, was charged, maybe that would increase the safety somewhat. But for my part, I'm just not that worried about it. <laughs> um, I, I load these with all six chambers and I put the hammer nose into one of those notches between the chambers and that's the way I carry the revolver. And that's the midweek update for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, as always, make sure you forward those to me. Remember, if you order anything from Optics Planet, be sure to use my discount code, which is... And if you use that discount code, it's good for 5% off anything you purchase from Optics Planet. See you next time, folks. And until then, good shooting. Bye-bye.